Now, um, obviously, uh, the cyclone recovery will be an issue that you stand in on and what you're going to do about that. What are... What are you doing? What do you think about that? And what are some of the other issues? You the, the, the biggest thing has been the land classifications because yeah. I think, um, you know, oh, how do I put this? These are the category one, two, and three. Yeah. So With three being the worst. Yeah. Three being the worst, and just giving homeowners, property um, property owners, some surety about you know, where their future lies in terms yeah. of where the category is, who's going to give them that news, what does it mean for one, if you're one, two or three, one or two, I understand, you know, you're going to be okay because at least the insurance will take care of one and, and, and two, you can be insured if you do some flood mitigation, three, absolutely red zone, yeah. you know. Now that's, now I've just figured out, I've just been asking, there's about 300 properties yeah, yeah. across Hawke's Bay, um, and so then the next question is who's going to sit down and talk with those 300 properties because each of them will be quite unique. But right now we've got a policy that says you can't go back there. You know, yeah. government with council are going to buy you out and, and whatnot. So for some, that's what they need. Um, my issue, like I said earlier, is Māori whenua will not leave their land. And so my question is, what are we going to do for them? And I know the Tang Oil community have come up with a solution. They said, you can buy us out, but we want to keep the land, and we're interested in exploring land in our area to rebuild on. That's an example of a localised solution to something challenging around Category 3. Now, I've got to wait and see where the government will take up that sol uh, solution and work with the community in Tangwell because that's what they want. Yeah.